The Vigilante, is it worth buying? Hello, it's Rasalt from Rasalt Motorsports. Today I put up a video here regarding the new Vigilante and a review of it. Is it worth buying? Well, four million two hundred twenty-six thousand total cost after the upgrades. It's a lot of money, uh, but is it worth it? Will it? Will you know? Will it perform? The defense on it is suspicious. I've got it fully upgraded here with a total of 476,000 in upgrades. You do not need to upgrade the suspension because you want to leave it stock. The thing sits very low and it will hit curbs. So leave your suspension stock. The bulletproof tires, uh, they do come standard so you do not have to invest in bulletproof tires. And I did not respray, I left it flat black. So. Those are three areas, respray bulletproof tires and suspension where I did not spend any money. So I take it out on the street and just kind of test it, shooting some cops and stuff. The, uh, the missiles, they work real well. The homing missiles are very similar to the oppressor. Uh, they follow a vehicle, they'll turn and hit its target. Uh, so the, the missiles are effective. The machine gun is just, just like most of the machine guns on these cars. It's doesn't doesn't do a whole lot of damage. You got to sit there and just keep hitting the vehicle before you can even get it to go into flames. Uh, so it, it's mediocre. The defense is horrible. One RPG destroys the car. This thing just doesn't have any real armor. Also, I thought I'd try it with a sticky bomb. The sticky, but one sticky bomb took care of it. Also, as you'll see in here in just a second. The the crew tire smoke looks cool though. But uh, <laughs> Yeah, one sticky bomb will tear this thing up, and it's just, it's a lot of money for a car that really isn't going to be that effective in free mode. Uh, I don't see you, you know, tearing free mode up with things. I, the oppressor is going to be much more uh, effective in battle. This thing's just for the looks and to say you got a Batmobile. <laughs> 